What are the best and worst hardcore towers in Roblox Tower Defense Simulator? There are three we are going to rank and one bonus that you'll see after. At the end of the video, we're going to crown one tower as the best of the best and one as the worst of the worst. We will also go over ways on how to earn gems quickly. Comment below which one you think is the best and the worst. To make sure your favorite tower doesn't end up in F tier, it needs to tick three boxes. The first one, it needs good stats. If the stats are looking good, it ticks a box. The second one is its usefulness. If this tower is flexible in most game modes, maps, and multiplayer or single player use, it ticks the second box. The third one is its uniqueness. If it stands out amongst all the other towers, it ticks this box. In similarity to the previous tier lists, its performance in Grass Isles Molten will also affect the ranking. However, keep in mind there are many maps out there that can provide better results for each tower. First off, we're starting with the newest gem tower, Brawler. Having, in my opinion, the coolest design, this tower has recently become a meta tower, dealing high damage with a placement limit of 10, this tower has so much to offer. It has high melee range, lead detection, and hit combos that can deal some serious damage. Quite possibly the easiest way it gains its uniqueness is its knockback ability as well as level 4 the repositioning ability. With a cooldown of 40 seconds, you can reposition this tower to any spot you want on the map even dealing stomp damage. For only 1250 gems, this tower is just a gift that keeps on giving. Without a doubt, we proudly rank Brawler into S tier. We could go on and on about the pros of this tower. If you have a ghost in TDS, you want to call Accelerator. If you understood that reference, hit the subscribe button. It means a lot to us and it helps us make more of these amazing videos. Anyway, Accelerator has retained its amazing reputation ever since 2020. However, can it keep up with other gem towers? Requiring level 50 plus to purchase this tower for 2500 gems, it has the highest singular tower DPS possible. This tower can beam through bosses like they're nothing. With a placement limit of 8, this tower can keep up in many game modes. It is a viable tower to deal heaps of damage in quick amounts of time time, its range scoping the majority of the maps out there. However, due to it being able to be stunned, as well as its charge up time and overcharge meter, this tower can fall behind other towers that we will rank in other tier list videos. However, this tower still does not disappoint, it deserves S tier. Making its debut on Sunday, April 17th, 2022, Engineer has had a rough history, but nowadays, things have changed. Mostly mediocre for its time in TDS, with its insane price of 4500 gems or 2250 robux, and a requirement of level 60 plus, it is hands down the most powerful tower of TDS. Using scraps from attacking enemies to create sentries, these little machines are engineer's best friend. Although upgrading at 6 levels is pricey, this tower pays off with its insane sentries, being able to place up to 6 engineers per player. The best part about these boss destroying sentries is their sentry shield, unlocked at level 4, allows them to be immune to stuns. However, if the shield is not regenerated by the time a stun happens, it will end up dying. Engineer with its 4 war machine sentries, ends up dealing the most DPS out of every tower, even dealing splash damage from the War Machine's rockets. This tower easily deserves S tier, but remember how difficult it is to obtain this tower. Dare say, the hardest tower to obtain in the game. Well, we've reached the end of the list, right? Luckily for you, not quite. Although Necromancer is classified as an exclusive tower, we wanted to add this as the bonus, as it does cost 1800 gems or 1500 Robux to unlock. With a minuscule placement limit of 3, this tower is quite unique, being upgradable to a multi-target get damaging tower at max, it's mainly unique for its gravestones that it places along the path. As the necromancer tower deals damage to collect souls, it uses these souls to summon these gravestones. With the use of its ability raise the dead, it will summon up to 6 types of skeletons from these gravestones. From levels 1 and 2, you can summon skeletons, sword skeletons, and even giant skeletons, as well as skeleton knights. From level 3 and beyond, you can also summon the hollow guard or the executioner skeleton with a whopping 3500 health. This tower isn't too expensive due to the small placement limit and compared to other towers on this list. However, this tower almost renders useless when fighting bosses or high health enemies once those enemies get past the gravestones placed along the path. For its price of 1800 gems, we feel you're better off purchasing Brawler for less or saving more for Accelerator or Engineer. Necromancer, as cool as it is, unfortunately goes into the C tier. Now that we have reached the end of this list, it's clear to see that every hardcore tower is super worth its price and grinding. But first, we want to go over the most efficient ways that you might might be missing on how to grind gems. By far the most simple, easiest, and reliable way to grind gems and beat hardcore itself is a famous loose style strategy. This strategy was made possible by the people named on the screen in order to have a guaranteed way
way of beating hardcore without any special towers. This means that as long as you have two other friends that have these coin towers required by the strategy, all three of you can follow this document strategy in the description in order to beat hardcore and gain 300 gems per win. However, some players like to grind on their own. That opens up the many opportunities of solo strategies on YouTube that do not require any special towers but does require you to intentionally lose. However, you can start to rack up a lot of gems every time you do the strategy, allowing you to gain these hardcore towers a lot quicker. You can even use the hardcore towers to get other hardcore towers. Incredible, isn't it? Before we crown the best and worst gem tower, we want to emphasize that if you find it tough to grind and make progress in gaining gems, that is completely normal. Coming from my perspective, it took over 15 plus hours of grinding gems in 2021 for me to obtain Accelerator. And with Biff, it took us two weeks in 2022 to not only triumph hardcore duo, but also to obtain Engineer. It is normal if it takes a lot of time to grind gems, just remember to stay patient and take breaks when you need to. For the moment you've been waiting for, if we were to crown one gem tower as the best of the best, we'd easily choose Engineer. Although super difficult to obtain with its absurd gem price, it pays off super well, dealing the most constant DPS any tower can deal at max level. However, we do like to emphasize that Brawler being the cheapest hardcore tower is recommended first. It is an amazing tower that pairs insanely well with Engineer as well. Although obviously shown, Necromancer is the worst gem tower on this list. Its low placement limit and low relevance does not help this tower with its price of 1800 gems. Therefore, this should be the last tower you purchase with gems. It may do well as support, but shouldn't be used for main damage in any game modes. If you enjoyed this tier list, we did two other tier lists on the starter and intermediate towers right here. We'll go over more in the future, so stay tuned. Please subscribe if you enjoyed this content. Have a fantastic day. Now, for the final- nah.